Dear viewers behind the screen, at home and wherever you are, welcome you to another episode of Day One of Share the Passion, where we celebrate the industry, the key opinion leaders, the people behind the brands, and of course, the people that you know already from your screen. One is Danielle Valkyrie. Danielle, thank you for appearing on the show. Thank you for the invitation. How do you like the show so far? I haven't seen so much yet, but I, it's great to be back. Thank you. What about you? Thank you. I am quite nervous to have someone like you on stage. I made a habit of, since we share the passion and also we are on the lookout for the passion, I make a habit on asking our guests on the show what their passion is. May I ask what your passion is? My passion is shooting, obviously. I like guns, weapons, and all their in all their shapes and sizes. Yes. And uh, I made my hobby my profession, and now I got to travel a lot, which is great. I travel to different places, different shooting ranges, and I meet many people. And what I love most about it are the friendships that are created with that. You are someone that is working in a very special industry. You're a content creator, people know you, but the content creation for our industry is very niche. How did you come about to find yourself to become a content creator within this industry? Um, I started shooting about four years ago, so not such a long time, but I just started creating content and um, took photos and videos of my shooting classes, of the guns I shot, and then I posted them, and people somehow started to like it. And now I'm still doing that, and I love my job. And it's going pretty great, I must say. Yes. So what you're saying is that basically you didn't do anything differently. You just started to record you and just share it on what you're doing. Exactly. Shooting guns in all, in all sizes and shapes for four years now. Yes. Now we fast forward. We are here. You are here among the biggest brands of the industry. One being, of course, RWS with their Gecko Ammunition, but also with Beretta. And actually, how does this, this come about? It actually still feels kind of crazy because both brands um, approached me at the same time, both Beretta and Gecko. And um, that time I was looking for a new handgun. I wanted a polymer gun. I've been into polymer guns and I wanted something new and different. Okay. And then uh, Beretta invited me to Italy, to the villa and the factory, and they showed me the brand new APXA1, which wasn't even on the market yet. You went to time. Italy to the Beretta factory. Yes. Have you seen the Beretta Museum also? Yes, I did. It was great. It was great, really. And what they did is they showed you the APX1 yes. before anyone else saw it? Yes, exactly. Did, did and I fell in love instantly. <laughs> so, yeah, and then this cooperation happened, and now I'm, I'm shooting it. So... Hold on, so there's just a brand out there, big brand, iconic brand like Beretta, who says, all right, Daniel, we like you. Please be invited to Italy, shoot the new gun, the APX-1. Yeah, did it, it was great. I, you are living my dream. So, <laughs> well, let's talk about the APX-1. We have one here, I believe it is configured just the way you shoot it. Exactly. What do you like about it? Um, it's, it's a great gun. Uh, first of all, it's the one I shoot the most because I, I really do love it. It um, has no finger grooves, which is great because I don't want my hands to be forced into a specific place on the gun. Kind of a modern feature also, right? No yes, finger grooves. Yes, yes, yes. It has an undercut. This used to be the first thing I modified in a gun, in a polymer gun when I got uh, a new one. So um, this gun already comes with it. Why is a high undercut so important for shooting? Uh, you, you got a better grip. Yes, you get higher on the gun. Yes, yes, it's perfect. Um, the trigger is super crisp. It has a... Uh, uh, a light pull, yes. a, sh a quick reset. Um, it has those really sexy yet very aggressive slide serrations, which yes, is great if you're shooting in a in a rough condition or if you're wearing gloves. I remember Gen 1 of the APX. They, they used to be even more aggressive, but they look sexy indeed, too. Yes, they do. And it comes optic ready, which is very convenient for me because I like shooting with red dots. Oh, so many features. So. We mentioned no finger grooves, ready modern. You said the trigger is really crisp, fast, good reset. High undercut, we talked about it because the grip needs to be as high and tight as possible. Serrations for forward cocking. But also you mentioned the Steiner MPS, which is a, an optic that we find a lot of times now on the handgun. Would you say that optics are a new trend on the handgun? Yes. I, I think it's, it's, it's great. Um, I think it's... Uh, it helps shooting, it helps um, with, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just better. You, you, get, you get to the target quicker, 
Yes. And um, this one is also the one I use myself, yes. Spanner MPS. It's rugged, it's compact, it helps with a quick and easy target acquisition. I also so have, usually when I shoot, uh, when I shoot iron sights, I always have the problem I need to focus on three dots in space, right? I need to focus on uh, on the back iron side, the front iron side, and on the target. And when yeah. I have a, an optic, I just can superpose the dot over the target so I don't have to focus over anything else. Yeah, that's why I love it. So would you say the trend of optics on pistols, this is going to, it's here to stay? Yes, I believe it is. So the Steiner MPS has anything that Danielle Valkyrie needs for shooting. But exactly. you said, well, you were into polymer guns. You're still into polymer guns because I believe you do a, little, uh, you do a lot of, um, well, combat shooting, defensive shooting outside. Why is a polymer gun a good, a good pistol to go with if there's outside condition, outdoor dirt? Is it because it's very rugged? I uh, yes. First of all, this is one reason, and I think Beretta just did a great job with um, the characteristics of a striker fire um, system in Important this one. Important thing, really. Yeah. So they got the striker fire system just right. Yes, they did. But this is not the only gun you shoot, and I'm dying in jealousy because you already also started shooting with the new iteration of the famous gun, or perhaps maybe the most iconic shape of a Beretta handgun that's had ever been, the 92, and the new iteration, the 92X Performance and 92X Performance Defensive. So I know you're shooting the Performance Defensive and this is the Performance version, but let's talk about it a little bit. What yeah. do you like about it? Um, this is the first series of steel guns I feel comfortable with. Yes. And um, the 92X Performance Defense is, is very similar to this one. Yes, exactly. It's the same... Um, it's the same frame. Same platform, no, yes. the same platform, but the frame is lighter because it oh, has no big right. pinny rail. The other one, and uh, you know your um, stuff very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, it's made. It's lighter because it's made for IDPA shooting. Yes. Uh, I tried it first time last summer, which was great, but it's very niche in Europe, so I don't do it quite often. But it's not unsimilar to IPSC. It is very niche in Europe. That's true. Yes, but it's it's. It's similar to IPSC, it's very competitive, very fast. Very fast. Yes, and this gun truly shines in this class. Also, I like the double action, it's crisp, it's fast, it's awesome. Yes. And it also comes optic ready, we've already talked about it. It seems you have the whole package, so you use this gun in the outdoors where it just needs to be rugged, but for a more competitive sort of sport, IDPA, which is very niche because we talked about it, and well, but you can compare it, you said, to IPSC yeah. because it's a very fast and challenging sport. This is so. This is more on a competitive side of things, and you said it's the first steel version of a gun that you actually like. Yes, it truly is. Yes. So uh, you used to be a polymer girl, but now you also you also like steel guns from Beretta. Yes. So I don't want to uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, and I know that you're very busy. Thank you for being on stage. Right. Thank you for bringing me here. We are going to talk quickly about. Gecko Ammunition, which is another big brand that is helping you achieve your goals. What does Gecko and Danielle actually do together? Um, it, I started my shooting journey with this brand, actually. So oh, really? It was the first ammunition brand I used, and I still do in every shooting session. And I think this shows how versatile this brand is. Um, it, it just accompanies people from the very beginning to an advanced shooter. So would you say those two iconic brands, Beretta and Gecko, they are the perfect match for someone like you, for Daniel oh, yes, Valkyrie? They are. So I believe as you have many, many, many fans out there, they're probably wondering, hey, what are you up to in 2023? Where is Danielle Valkyrie, who is seems to be at home everywhere, Italy, here, internationally known. You've been shooting with uh, Taryn, uh, you've been shooting in, in Las Vegas also with yeah. Taryn Butler. So it seems you are everywhere. Where are you going next? Let's see. Um, the industry is very interesting and everything is possible. But I started uh, competition shooting this year, so nice. I, I will focus on that. And I think with Beretta by my side, my goals are achievable. And yeah, thank you very much for your time. So you guys, you heard it. Whether you are craving the need for the next level of polymer handguns from Beretta or you're more on the sport of competitive side of things, Beretta has got you covered. Perfect match with Geeker Ammunition, especially for such person like yourself who is challenges in very different areas of shooting. Danielle, thank you very much for your time and we send you off with a very cool 
video from Beretta and Danielle Valkyrie. Thank you very much. Thank you too.